Hello everybody, happy Frazzle Friday. Whoop, let me lift that up just a little bit. Happy Frazzle Friday, how's everyone doing today? Today I'm gonna show you how to do uh, pop sockets using the epoxy free method with crystal with bright tones, crystal lax bright tones. Woo, almost didn't get that out. Um, there's a lot we can do other than just tumblers. So far we've been, I've showed you how we can do uh, acrylic blanks. Thank, maybe, nope, I haven't done an acrylic blanks. Thank you very much. I've done uh, molds um, showing you, uh, you can use liquid Super Sculpey to do some uh, molds and I'm glad everyone's starting to have fun with all that. And then we also um, showed you how to do the bezels they um, using bright tones and glitter and how you can do um, decorate bezels and stuff and give them away as gifts or to your customers match their cups and now we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to how we do these pop sockets um, we have all these pop sockets and just um, these are all on our website at thefrazzleflamingo.com we now have four brand new colors Woo! Four brand new colors we have we have pink ain't showing very well but we have the it's pretty pink we got a pink we have a gray we have a blue and we have a purple along with our black and white so so we have them and you can do so much with these. You can um, put any kind of decals on them. You can put what, what I'm going to do, glitter on them with bright tones. And I also made one with our new, uh, with our new rhinestones. This is my very first one. So it has some flaws, but I had a blast doing it. And, but we have uh, rhinestones, high quality, beautiful rhinestones on our website at frazzleflamingo.com. So uh, if you get a chance, just stop in there and take a look. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna point you down and we're gonna make a pop socket together. Here we go. Let me see, is that good? Can you see it? I hope. Sorry. <laughs> there we go, there we go. And I'll even push it more forward so that it's a little better. These are all the pop sockets that we have. And then this is the one I glittered. And we're going to be using, we're, we're going to need uh, 400 grit sandpaper. We're going to need some uh, a rag, paper towels. Um, you're going to need your glitter. And today we're going to use Regal. That is the dragon of the mother dragons, right? And this is what it looks like. It is beautiful. beautiful. It's a color shift um, chameleon glitter. It's gorgeous. You can go on our website and get off so and then we're going to use our bright tones and that's what you're going you're going to need all that and you're going to need tools um we have this tool here that has like a painter end on one a very soft and then you know to push or stamp on that end um this is what i'm going to be using and out of my mica tools to mix i really i don't you can't really see it i like using this out of my mica tools so and, but you can also use popsicle sticks, toothpicks, whatever you have handy. Okay, so the first thing we need to do with our pop sockets is we're gonna, we're gonna um, open it up because to open up a pop socket, it makes it easier to handle because you can hold it in your fingers either way. You can hold on to it without touching your work that's gonna be on the top. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lightly sand your surface. We're just gonna do a scuffing. Um, I try and sand, do a little scuffing on almost every surface that I work on that I'm going to be putting product on. Okay, so we've got that scuffed good enough. It doesn't need a lot, but I'm going to spray that off. We're going to clean it up. We're going to get all that dust off. Alright, that's good enough. So we have a little scuffing on there. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to move these up, up out of the way for a minute. Um, we're going to, I put some um, glitter, I recall, into a Dixie cup because um, 
I want to I didn't want to have to clean it out I'm being lazy so I'm using a Dixie cup anything that I feel like I might need to throw away I put it in a Dixie cup because they are biodegradable so that's what I do next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drip in our BT in that in that glitter we're gonna pour some enough in there we want it to have uh, a little bit not too runny but a little bit of a soupy consistency so that it'll go over I'll show it to you in just a minute because I know I'm gonna have to add just a little more in there this one's a little too too pasty it's not bad though we could make it work but I'm gonna drip put a couple more little drips in there Okay, I think I pretty well got it mixed up. Um, I'll show it to you. See? Make sure you have a paper towel or something next to you to kind of wipe your tools off so that the product does not stay on your tools. You keep your tools clean. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paint, my flat kind of paint brushy tool and our um, pop socket. Let me put my little cap on my bright tones move that out of the way and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start scooping some out this really lets you scoop it out and then we're gonna just move it around on this pop socket I probably could have had it a little runnier but I, I do think it's gonna work out good for our first coat you're kind of brushing it on around your pop socket that's what I like about this it's kind of it's like a it's a silicone brush and I do need a little more BT on that. I'm going to drizzle a little more in, whoop, a little more inside. And I'm going to probably put some on top of that real quick. It's still a little, was a, it was still a little too thick. Sorry, that's in your way. Yeah, it was still a little too thick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and drip a little bit of BT on that and move it around with what I got on what I have on this existing um, I chose the black pop socket because this is a darker glitter and I just thought it would really be beautiful on this black pop socket it the glitter changes depending on what color uh, you put it on what color base you put it on okay so we're gonna now work this um, work all this on here I have some more to put on yeah I should have had it just a little runnier but it's all right we're gonna work it to the edges I don't know if you can see what I'm doing I'm just working it to the edges making sure I fill every hole checking for bubbles and we're going to turn this around I see some bubbles and if you see bubbles try and just pop them with the corner of your tool sometimes that works out good other times you kind of have to swipe and what I like to do when I get it I try and pound it blow it even um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the bubbles I have a bubble there I have a few bubbles and we're going to swipe them right off and we're going to re we're going to put a little more product on we're just going to reach in there with our little tool and we're just going to carefully yeah got another bubble but that's why you do this and I shake it pop you know I pound it down because when you pound it down it allows the bubbles to come up And I blow on it to try and level it out in spots where maybe it isn't um, getting on there too well. And then I always go around the edges just to make sure I got my I have my edges clean. All right, and that's all you do. 
I don't know if you can see that. That's all you do. It will dry. It's not perfect yet. You know, it's going to dry. It's going to be a little rough. And that's all you do. Okay, so the next step you do, after you do this, you're going to let this sit. I let it sit. Um, I like to let mine sit overnight. And then it'll get rough. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to move this over here to the side. Let me squirt my hands a little bit. i got some sticky on them. And let me clean up my tool here. The great thing about Bright Tones, um, any Crystallite products, is they are water-based. And just with a little water, maybe even a little soap, it, it cleans right off. And then, you know, voila, we're ready to use it again. Uh, very little waste. That I will not waste. I'll use it on a bezel or another pop socket. So I'll set that aside. So the next one I want to show you is when it's it has sat overnight. Okay, this one has sat overnight. I'm going to show you this one. And it, it has some roughness on it, if you can see. It's not smooth, smooth. So at this point, what we're trying to do is we're going to add more BT like you would when you glitter your tumbler, you're doing the same with your pop socket. Um, so we're going to add a little more BT. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our BT and we're going to drip it on there. We're going to just drip some on there. We're going to take our tool and we're going to push it. That's what I like this end for. You can push it right to the edge, go around it. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to get that off my arm. All right. And you're just going to work that BT around to the edge. You're going to fill it in. You're going to make sure you get it all. You little drops. You don't want to get too much. You want to just cover it. Go out to the edges and then in your in your light you can see where you might have missed and then again I like to kind of pounce it blow it so I get make sure I get the coverage make sure I remove oops wrong thing make sure I remove any of the bubbles that I see or come across I need a little more VT dripped on there because you want it to uh, that's a big bubble. Get that out there. So I shake it because it does, if you move it around too, it will level. It'll drip off too. And that's all you do. All right, we got that one pretty good. And then you will let this one sit and it will dry. And you may need, at this point, I think once you put this one on, um, you can put on a decal, someone's name, you can put other things, it'll be smooth enough, and then you'll probably put on a couple little more little coats to kind of cover the decal to protect it. But then when you're done, now this one will sit, and then when you're done, it will, it's re you know, ready to give to your customer with cup, and they're, they're gorgeous. You can do them with glitter, like I said, you can also do, I'll hold this one open, Pull that one open. You can, you can do a lot with pop sockets. You can put on the crystals. You can use the BT with any glitter. You can make any scenes. You can use dye instead of glitter. You can use the Bombay dyes um, with the bright tone crystallite bright tones. But that's how you do a pop socket. And then you just let them dry. You let them cure, and you can send them off to your customers. So this is how it started. I wanted to do something different. This one was how it started. It's still setting up drying. Then when it dried, we put on another coat and we'll probably put on another one. I'm, I think I'm going to put a decal on this one. And then, then you're done and you let this dry maybe for a week and, uh, and it should be good enough. And that's how you do the pop sockets. And remember we have all these products on our website at 
uh, thefrazzleflamingo.com. And don't hesitate to come on into our group, the Frazzle Flamingo um, Tumblers and Crafts. And join us for giveaways and for just having good old time and sharing hints and tips and, and everything. Again, happy Frazzle Friday and we hope we have inspired you to continue being your wonderfully creative self.